Hey, what is up, my real fam? It's Queen Debate, but you can call me Debbie, and I am back on this glorious day where the snow is melting and I'm low key sad to bring another video. And I've come to the consensus that Facebook contains the dumbest, most gullible people on the entirety of the internet. Like, I, don't, I feel like YouTube is way better at this point. Like, people are, are like half as gullible as they were like a few years ago, and like Twitter and like all the websites, people aren't nearly as gullible to believe everything. But for some reason, on Facebook, it's like they're oblivious to the fact that things aren't real. Like the amount of fake news and things that just go and like blow up on Facebook is insane. So I thought I'd look at some Facebook statuses from some Facebook users to really prove how, like, why are why are you like this? Why do you have Facebook? Like, why are people on Facebook like this? Like, this Facebook, like Facebook. And I think maybe that's because older people use Facebook and like younger, less gullible people use things like the other social media. But yeah, let's not ramble and just get into this video. Also, what do you think of my jacket? It's new. Got from Urban Outfitters, like, more like 70% off, and there's like one size left, and it's large. It's kind of big, but whatever. It's lit. I'm gonna be reading these off my phone, like I do with any time I do like a Yahoo Answers type video. Um, these ones are ones that I literally search up on the internet because I don't really go on Facebook anymore, so I'm not gonna like search for actual statuses. But these are some ones that are on an article that I thought were quite interesting. So this one is actually funny because someone I know recently posted something on Twitter really similar to this, but let's just read it to you. I'm 16. It's about time I had a family of my own. And can, can you tell me why there's 47 thumbs up? Can you tell me what 47 people thumbed up a 16 year old saying it's time they had a family? A family. You can't even pay your bills. You probably have to ask your mother to go to the goddamn store or like you want to go out with your friends you have to go to your mother like you probably have to sleep with a nightlight like you don't do anything like you're a child like you're 12 years old like sit down like this is actually hilarious because a few days ago like i said on twitter so i was my school um they are 15 i mean they're not that much younger than me but they're younger than me by like one year but they tweeted i'm just trying to be wifed up and i'm like you're like 12 years old please sit down um your biggest problem right now is uh, making sure you don't fail high school and um, crying over random boys. That's pretty much your biggest problem. Don't know what you're talking about being wifed up. Like you, you don't even probably, you didn't buy your phone. You probably didn't pay your own phone bill. Like you, do you pay for your lighting bill? I don't think so. Sit down. Like calm yourself down. Like calm the F down and sit there. Like chill. Like chill. You ain't trying to be wifed up at 15. Okay, this next post is one of those people from like Tumblr who think like we don't need school, like school, we can learn all that stuff on the internet. But they said, um, what a great, like, love those of youth these years. Why do we need school? Music. We have YouTube for that. Actually, we have Spotify. I don't know if you're talking about YouTube. Spanish. I watch Dora. English. Everything is shorted anyways. BRB, IDK, LOL. Yes. Um, tell me what happens if you hand in, um, when you get a job in the future, when you hand in like a official news, uh, official like report with IDK, LOL in it. And tell me how that goes for you. History. They're all dead anyway. Actually, a historical event cannot die. I'm not sure if you're aware of that, but the only thing that's going to die are things that are alive. Um, I don't know what else you learn in history, but like most of these I learned in history weren't just people that are dead. Like, Yikes. Math. That's why we have the calculator. I'm not even going to start off with what's wrong with that, but if you have even taken grade 9 math, you realize there's a lot of things you can't do in a calculator and that involves things called um, formulas. And um, spelling. We have a spell check. Yes, because having your autocorrected things from sec to sex is just as good as knowing how to spell because I've had things co corrected from just a sex to just a sex. 
but we don't need to learn to spell because we have the spell check. Yeah. 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 Also, the only thing I've learned from Dora is, um, I don't know what I learned from Dora. Um, Buenos dias. I'm probably triggering so many Spanish people right now. I have no idea what I learned from Dora. Mias, amigos, boots. Um, a grumpy old troll who lives over the bridge off, uh, I don't know. Oh, wow. This person's post, this is very ironic because they happen to be black, but they said, OMG, why did the Civil War have to have it? It'd be one less thing to study. Why did the Civil War happen? I don't know, maybe, because like, you know, it's the reason um, the slaves were freed, like you're, like you, like you're black, so I'm assuming you're aware of slavery and racism, but no, no, that shouldn't have happened. Like, we, the black people shouldn't just be continue to be slaves, because like, that's just what everyone wants. Like, that would be the best thing. Like, who wants to study the Civil War? Let's just have more slaves. Duh, doy, duh. Make sense? Me only? No. Yeah, got it. No, I do not want to sign up for the newsletter. Oh, this one. This is the reason we need school for that two posts ago who said we don't need school. Are lights electric? Because my phone and iPad won't charge, but my lights are still on. Electricity, how does it work? Um, well, maybe that's because if your plug is not working, or maybe, you know, your phone charging port is not working and the lights are still on, that doesn't equal electricity just gone. Like, that's not how it's gone. Like, oh, my thing stopped charging, must mean we're out of electricity. <laughs> out of electricity. You should not own a house. That's what you shouldn't do in the future. Don't own a house, don't buy a house. I can almost always tell if a movie doesn't use real dinosaurs. Use real dinosaurs. Wow. That's so true, because like, you know those movies that use real dinosaurs? Because I definitely do, because like, those are my favorite movies. Like, I'll insert like a real dinosaur right there, like that's a 100% real dinosaur. I hate when they try to use those fake dinosaurs, like, uh, don't you know anything about like, arachnopods? Like, arachnopods are basically the reason we exist, so, um, try again. What the fuck's, what, the, what is an arachnopod? I'll insert the definition, I don't know. All of these are slightly sad because many of the people I'm friends with have done a lot of these posts. But this person posted, goodbye, good, goodbye, goodbye America, hello New York. And I'm calling out my best friend because this is the funniest thing. So she was going to Disney World and Disney World is in Orlando, Florida. For some reason she was convinced Orlando and Florida were different places. So she's like, I'm going to, she's like, I'm going to Orlando. I'm like, oh, so you're going to be in Florida. She's like, no, I'm going to Orlando. Um, Orlando is in Florida. Oh, and this is the same thing with people who think um, Africa is a country. Please remove yourself from the planet. Thank you. But goodbye, American. Hello, New York. I think you should go a lot farther because um, in our progress in society, you are just like, you, we're like up here and you're like down here. Like you need to like, you need to like bring yourself at least halfway up to be like a useful human being or like go and live in the ocean. No, I do not want to see the sponsored message. It's a good thing Halloween didn't fall on the 13th this year. That would be really scary. Yeah, that'd be really scary if Halloween fell on the 13th. Mostly because of the reason that Halloween happens on the 31st. I think that's the scariest part. I think that would be pretty scary, like. I don't even think this one needs a response because the comment that replied to it was pretty great, but it says, there is no I in happiness. Well, there is if you spelled it right. I think that's pretty dope. Like, I mean, ugh, like props to that person that I don't even have to comment on that. I think that's a pretty accurate response because there's no I in happiness, but maybe if you uh, knew how to spell, there would be. Yeah. Like maybe that's why you're not so happy because you realize you don't know how to function. Okay, so this person Gave the parents a history lesson. So they said, told my dad that today I learned about learned what the Holocaust was. He wasn't too impressed with my history skills, even less impressed when I asked him whether it was the Jews that killed the Nazis or the other way around. Oops. Nazis killed the Jews in case you forgot. I did forget, thank you for informing me again. Mama is very sympathetic about me thinking Hitler was only killed last year. 
She agrees that Hitler and Saddam Hussein sound very similar. Hitler, Saddam Hussein. Hitler, Dom. I'm gonna call them Haddam Hussein. Haddam Suein. Saddam Hussein. Hitler, Saddam Hussein. Saddam Hitler Hussein. I think they're pretty much the same. Then, when I was asking about Saddam, I accidentally called him Barack Obama. That's a. Uh, haha, this is why I don't do history. Maybe you should. Because um, Saddam Hussein and Barack Obama are not the same person. This one is about the moon and I think an incredible part of human history. And I'm glad someone's really addressing it. And this person says, Say what you want about Lance Armstrong. I'll if you don't get this while I'm reading it, then you're clearly not. Um, I can't even speak. What am I trying to call you out when I can't even speak? Say what you want about Lance Armstrong, but being the first man to walk on the moon is an amazing achievement. They can never take that away from him! Exclamation mark. Yeah, props to you, Lance Armstrong. Lance Armstrong. If you haven't caught on yet, then you're never gonna ca catch on, but Lance Armstrong. Walking on the moon. Lance Armstrong. Lance. Okay, this one, I think this guy has probably the best logic. Legends are forgotten over time. Warriors never get forgotten. Never get forgotten. What does that mean? What? And then someone comes in, what does that even mean? And he responds, he responds, what? No. Just something that came to my head. Legends are forgotten over time. Warriors never forgotten. What a great philosophy. I'm gonna paint that on my wall. You're gonna see that on my wall. Legends are forgotten over time. Warriors never get forgotten. Damn, that's deep. I'm gonna get tattooed that like on my head. Oh, this person talking about long distance relationships and I think she's so right. She says, everyone always says long distance relationships never work. Uh, speak for yourself. My amazing boyfriend lives just a couple miles away, away and I've been with him for almost a year. He's introduced me to some of the funniest people I could ever meet and I introduced him, introduced him to, the, to people that love him to death. Long distance relationship. Don't knock it till you actually try. A couple miles away. So basically, he lives like maybe a, like a five minute drive. That's pretty long distance. I mean, you might like that's pretty long distance. I think in normal relationships you live like next door to each other or live in the same house. But like that's pretty long distance too. So props to her for doing such a good job with her long distance relationship. Wow. Does anyone know if the air from a fan can blow away the particles from wireless signal? Having trouble in my room. I'll answer this for you, and the answer is yes. If you, you can even see it, like if you fan a microwave, you can see the microwaves outside the microwave. Well, never tell it problems, tell your problems to everyone. 20% don't care, and the other 85% are glad you have them. The other 85%, so you, it's a, it's a 105%, and if you're like the average person doing a percentage of 100, you have like a bonus 5% of people who don't care about you, so that's, that's really sad. That is really sad. More Facebook posts. I don't, people, I don't like they post them on their public Facebook, because they, their friends would be seeing this, but this person posted, how many times do you have to miss your period before you're pregnant? Um, as many until the baby is born, and then you'll know you're pregnant, or was pregnant, you know, for nine months. That is all I have for you guys today. I hope you really understand that the people of Facebook are quite gullible and that you can, the end are quite um, incompetent to what's going on in the world and how life works. So uh, I just wanted to show you guys that. I thought it was pretty important that we understand not to interact with those people so we don't get our brain cells killed as we speak to them. Obviously I'm 100% joking somewhat, but yeah. <laughs> Anyways. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and um, I'll see you in my next video. Also tell me what you think of this jacket. I like it, but just give me your opinion because like I'd rather know it if it looks terrible. Like earlier, sooner than later. But yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Keep smiling, shining, and I'll be don't need to cry, be royalty. Bye. Your reflection in my wine glass That's when I look away Can't stand anything about losing your fine ass How the fuck I let you slip away Life for the party but I'm dead inside
Kill my vibes, it was genocide. Hard to act like I've been alive. I'm trying to find where I identify. One time for the girl that got.